Get to that point where you know country music is a passion and this is what you want to do how do you get to that point where you cross that line you say I'm jumping in head first and doing it I moved to Nashville on a complete leap of faith and the first night I was in town my dad's like a big redneck and um, he loves Nashville yeah and so it was a Tuesday night at 11 p.m. and he's like we're going downtown I was like no we are not mm -hmm. he goes we're in Nashville Tennessee yes we are <laughs> So, yeah, so we go downtown, we end up at Tootsie's like any tourist does, mm -hmm. and um, I end up on stage. They offer me a job that night. Wow, that's and, awesome. And um, from there, the doors just kept on opening following that. that I wrote um, after my boyfriend um, well he he told me he wanted to go on a break and then nine days later he had a new girlfriend all over social media and um, my mom was obsessed with him he, she had, he had like charmed her completely and so um, when he broke up with me or when she found out that you know he had a new girlfriend she sent him a text message that said you broke two hearts Oh, no. no, Mom, that wasn't, that wasn't nice. So I called her and I was like, Mom, and we're like best friends. And I was like, I'm going to be straight up with you. Like, that's the worst thing you've ever done to me. I was like, I cannot believe that you would give him the satisfaction of thinking that he not only broke my heart, but also your heart. And she was like, well, you're not being a crazy ex-girlfriend at all, and you need to give him a piece of your mind. And I was like, I was like, mom, you know what? Sometimes silence speaks louder than anything I could say to that boy. I beg your respect. When I first moved to Nashville, I was spending two weeks in Nashville writing, and then I would fly home to Florida and spend two weeks in my hometown performing and making money, and that's how I made a living. Well, my roommate, for apparent, some apparent reason, did not realize for a whole year that I was going down there to make money. She goes, well, I kind of just thought that you came for money, and your parents just like slipped into your bank account. And I was like, well, that would be nice, but I ain't never had daddy's money. And then uh, a couple days later, the song was written, and it's called Daddy's Money. So. I got it all. 